Hello everyone, Digitrex Dad back and doing the uh, next part of the uh, decoder install for the transponder in the LMS brake van. And we're going to use this uh, TL1 decoder from Digitrex. It's finally arrived uh, from the States, from uh, Train Tech LLC. Um, there was a bit of delay on shipping, that's why there's been a bit of a gap between videos. Well, let's get started. Okay, so what we've done there is set up our DCS51, our Zephyr, and um, we've attached to the connector at the back there a left and right or an A and a B uh, programming track there with the red and the black. I've put some uh, jumpers and some alligator clips on that. We've now connected that to the red and the black lead on our uh, TL1 decoder. The TL1 decoder is a single function decoder with transponding so it has a single white and blue uh, function there that can be used to turn things on or off or lighting functions. We'll get into that a bit later. So now that we've got that set up what we need to do first is program the address of the decoder before we put it into our piece of rolling stock, in our case the brake van. Uh, to do that, we need to change it from its factory default setting of uh, 03. And we do that by reading back. So we press programming mode and we want it in the direct mode, which is the DIR. We want to go to loco and read back the address 2 to see what the factory address of the decoder is. Let's come back to factory address 3 which is what we'd expect. Now we want to actually program that. So we go back to our address 4 and now we need to enter in the address that we want. In my case I'd like that to be 7914 because that's the four digits, the last four digits of the six digit uh, number on my brake van. So 7914 and we press the CV right button it flashes and then up comes 7914. So now we know that the decoder is programmed with 7914. If we're unsure, we can check by going back to loco, address 4, reading the address back, and it's flashing while it's uh, recovering the address back from the decoder. And there we have it after quite a wait 7914, the address on this TL1 decoder. What I like to do now is to write that address on the decoder so that I remember. Okay, so after we've um, labelled our decoder there, the next thing we want to do is make sure that the functions to turn on our lighting circuits are set correctly. And going back to the trusty instructions uh, what we need to be looking for is that our transponding is enabled okay so there's a transponding disabled transponding enabled we want it to be enabled the next thing we want with our transponding enabled is to pick which function button we want to use to turn on our uh, our function and because this is to turn on lighting I like to stick with using function zero, which as you can see over here on the Zephyr, function zero is the, is the traditional lighting uh, symbol on the Digitrax uh, throttles. If we look at a DT402 for instance, and look at the uh, throttles, or the zero button there for functions, it's got the light bulb next to it. So, if it was sound, I like to use function 1, just so I'm consistent with how I use all my functions. So, what we need for transponding enabled are these two values here, CV61 and CV64, to be number 3 and 00, zero respectively. Okay, now we've worked out what we want our value to be. We can now connect our decoder again back to our programming track outputs. So we put the black one on the black, 
the red one on the red, like so. Take those apart, and then using our programmer, we can then enter our CV values that we wish to program. So we're in direct programming mode again over here. If I page through ops mode, paged or physical register, but we want direct mode, which is going to send it out through the programming track. The next thing we need to do is to select our CV. So if we press the CV button, we can see that the last uh, last uh, CV was 61 that was uh, looked at. We can read this CD by pressing the CV read. The display flashes and it comes up and tells us that it is on a value of 2. In the instructions, CV61 comes from the factory uh, set at, at 2, so there's no surprise there. We want to set it uh, at 3. So we enter 3 and write and it flashes to tell us it was writing and now it's there if we want to check that we can read that value and we see that it comes up with it with the three so that's done next cv we want to do is cv 64 so we go to 64 and we want that to be zero so let's read what it is currently and I think we'll find that it's already at, at zero. It needs to be zero, zero, not zero, one. Okay, so let's set 64, CV64 to zero and right. So just to check that our CV64 is set correctly, we go to our CV mode, look at 64, read it, and we should see that flash has come back and said zero, zero. That's what we want that one to be. So we've finished our, our programming, programming of the decoder and we can exit. The next step is to set CV49, which controls the type of uh, lighting effects. If you want lighting effects, there's uh, predominantly US based um, end of car lighting, Mars light strobes, different pulses and, and, and so on with different values. I'm just going to use the normal on off to turn the lighting on or turn the lighting off. So we want that at zero zero and factory setting for CV49 is zero zero but let's just check that anyway. So we go to programming mode, we're in direct mode, pick the CV button, enter, enter 49 for CV49 and press read flashes and it should come back as expected zero zero which means it will function as a on off button every time I press F0. So the blue and white lights once they're con blue and white wires once they're connected to the lighting circuit in the brake van will simply function on off to turn the lights on or off uh, by using uh, the CV with the address and what was the address? 761914 and that's why I write it on the back so I don't forget. Also, I keep the instruction manual for this and I write the decoder address as address 7914 and then I know that I've got 03 and 00 also programmed in as function 0. We know we've got the normal on off and then I put this in my file and then I know that I've got it. When I change over everything to Decoder Pro, it will be in the uh, computer, but for now I'm just showing how to do it with a more manual setup using the Digitrek Zephyr. What I might do is put together a short similar video using the DCS um, 100 and the uh, DT402 throttle because many people have that configuration as well. Anyway, there's the end of the video for programming your function only decoders. Hope that was useful. Any questions, leave it down below and thanks for watching. Bye for now.